The effects of the recent passing of a new law that imposed a 1.5% railway development levy on all imported goods is already being felt by the health sector. A medical consignment containing cancer medication has until today been withheld by the Kenya Revenue Authority for two months following a requirement that the recipient pays a 5.6 million shillings railway development levy on the 400 million worth of goods. Consignment has been... Uh, uh, has had problems because of the re recently introduced uh, railway development levy, uh, which is 1.5 percent of the costs of whatever is imported into the country, and uh, there being no way to exempt uh, medicines or anything at all, uh, our consignment, which was costing about 400 million, uh, attracted about 5.6 million in uh, railway development levy. The situation has been dire for cancer patients as the Nairobi Hospital engaged the Kenya Revenue Authority to waive the tax on the medical consignment to allow patients continue medication as fears abound on the stocks running out. As Parliament passed the 1.5% railway development levy on all imports, no consideration was made on health commodities. 400 patients suffering from leukemia and stomach cancer have had to go without Glivec, an anti-cancer medication that is crucial for their survival. So we've had two months of uh, stockouts uh, in medicine, so that means some patients are not able to get their, uh, their, their medicine, they are not able to continue uh, with therapy. It took the Ministry of Health to pay the 5.6 million shillings to have the commodities released. Although the situation has been resolved, fears now arise on possibility of donors withdrawing the support for the program unless Parliament amends the act that will see medical commodities exempted from taxation. We are sending wrong signals to the donors. I mean, we cannot take care of our own patients here and they are donating to us something that is uh, quite expensive. We, we might just uh, run the risk of uh, losing this program uh, completely. We look upon the, the, the Parliament to, uh, to, to create waivers on this and many other essential commodities which are donated or otherwise brought into the country. Marie Ambo reporting for the News Hour.